Hello, I want to show you how to make your own parallel installation on uh, Ubuntu 12.4 64-bit, but it is quite the same with uh, the 32-bit version. So at first you have to go to the LibreOffice homepage and download LibreOffice. I have uh, downloaded LibreOffice 3.4.6 but it is working with uh, every LibreOffice version and a lot of OpenOffice versions. You have to keep in mind that when you are using Ubuntu you need the DEP. You yeah, see it here. If you uh, use a 64-bit Ubuntu you need x86-64 and you have to use uh, the specific belts but uh, it should be offered automatically so simply uh, double I've double clicked on this uh, icon and then this uh, program opens so that I can extract it simply drag it on the desktop so here you can see uh, two uh, very important comments. Uh, the one I won't ever remember, and the other we need uh, after the end, <laughs> so to say. So let's open this uh, this folder. Uh, it doesn't mind um, where you extract it. It's just important that you see uh, this folder called uh, Depths. If you're not using uh, Ubuntu. You will find the information you need in the wiki. I'm just open uh, it. It's called parallel installation. So, sorry. Going over. So, finding the wiki. Finally, f I've found it. So, if you're using RPM, it mean you need to do this, and for DAP, you need to do this. I will show you if, with the DAP, because I don't have a RPM installation. So, we need to open the terminal first. So you could click here, but I'm writing terminal. So, and if you do so, you certainly will find it here. So at first I need to go to this path. I'm clicking Ctrl L and copy it. Then we have to insert it, but before we insert it we sh uh, should uh, uh, use the command to change the folder path. So cd change directory then insert with Ctrl L Shift V and press the enter button. So now we need this command here. It will create a new folder. Um, it might need a while. I haven't copied. What's happening here? Control C. Then insert it. it paste. Okay. So it should. It needs a while, and here you can see a new dictionary called OPS, op OPT. It's not done yet, so it, no, it's done. So it would work now, but we should change one thing um, to not to override your existing settings. We have to go in the subfolder program here and uh, there is a file called called bootstrap bootstrap yeah and we need that its properties first you have uh, to have permissions uh, to read and write this file you see it when uh, the lock is away from read only there's the lock read and write read and write no lock so now we open this with the standard tab editor and we uh, copy I'm um, copying 
this uh, because this changes the user uh, settings uh, to an additional uh, folder inside this installation and uh, this is needed not to worry I've said this already so after saving it we can start it by uh, searching a component and I'm going to start start center then run in terminal and it's LibreOffice is starting first time and see now LibreOffice 3 to 4 and 6 uh, claims me why I haven't installed a Java runtime environment a few times no I d haven't but it's working you can see here the LibreOffice version and I will search for the standard LibreOffice version so that you see that it's parallel installed so come on, so <laughs> I'm running two different LibreOffice versions at the same time. Isn't that cool? <laughs>